Hey guys, today I'll show you how overclocking is done on your Xperia L. For this, you need a couple of things before you get started, like you should have an unlocked bootloader and Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on your device. Once you have all that, install an app called Kernel Tuner. It's available for free in the Play Store. I've given links and procedure to install a Clockwork Mod kernel on your device if you don't have one. Once that is done, oops, power off your device. Once it's off, boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. You enter Clockwork Mod Recovery by pressing the volume buttons. Once it indicates a blue light, it should be in Clockwork Mod. Okay, once you've downloaded all the files that are given in the description, transfer the ThunderZap 3.0 zip onto your phone SD card or internal SD. Then go to install zip. Choose zip from external SD. I've transferred it to my SD card. You should find ThunderZap 3.0.zip right over here. Then install it. Once you've installed, reboot your phone. You should see a ThunderZap logo. It means you have successfully flashed it. Okay, once your phone is booted, you should see that you are using a ThunderZap kernel in the settings. There you go, I'm running ThunderZap 3.0 kernel on my device. Now to overclock, install any CPU modifying app. I've installed kernel tuner because I found it's the best available. Okay, go to kernel tuner. Go to CPU. If you're prompted by super user, press yes. Then you can see I've overclocked my device to 1.5 gigahertz. You can set all the way to as low as 384 megahertz and all the way up to 1.5 gigahertz then set the governance to performance on both the CPUs then you should really have a power packed experience on your Xperia L I found it a lot smoother after overclocking my device and the games run a lot better hope this helped you guys thank you for watching